What's poppy y'all? It's your boy Schlickly Schlick and we back in this bitch with another video. I kind of wanted to just do a little talking, a little recap about the last year of 2019, the state of hip hop, who I'm watching out for, who excited me in music, who is exciting me in music, who I'm looking forward to in 2020. But without further ado, make sure you guys like this video. Let me know you are part of the Slick Gang. Comment down below. Let me know you've been part of the Slick Gang. And make sure you subscribe if you have not already. This is just gonna be a little like it's kind it's kind of like a vloggy vloggy vlog type type of thing. But I just wanted to like you know upload something with me just talking about <clears throat> the current state of hip hop or music in general because I feel like I have honestly I feel like I have a good um, grasp of what is going on in the hip hop community in terms of like where music is going how music changed so much and who is really influencing all of this stuff and i kind of just wanted to talk about it as we go into 2020 and new music going to be dropping you know what i'm saying south african music and american music both going to be dropping this year and i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna try to get um as many reactions on those important songs as much as possible just a what a week ago no a couple of days ago uh Travis Scott dropped an album um which was like a seven track album which is completely dope very different you know that Travis Scott vibe a good way to end off the year it gave me some bangers to listen to over and over and over again Travis Scott is one of those really really different artists and I was really excited to hear a song with him and Pop Smoke now that song is a banger I'm not even gonna hold you because like Pop Smoke is really changing <clears throat> not changing <clears throat> I would more say he's making different moves um, from the hit that he got and if you don't know the song go listen to the song he got um, baby welcome to the party <laughs> I'm off the mother of this Angeline that's why I'm moving retarded he got that one he got Christian Dior um, and then he got I don't he may got some other ones but those are the top two for sure Christian Dior welcome to the party and definitely Gotti's top three um, Gotti is with him and Travis Scott. That song is a banger. Go check it out if you haven't already. Um, another person that excited me last year was the baby. The baby really, really killed this thing. Really, really, really did his thing. Um, he was prepared for the opportunity. Um, he was prepared for whatever was going to happen to him, which happened to him. Um, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly where he's going. He's one of those artists that I'm looking for not only music but i'm looking for inspiration because i seen him I, I remember seeing him when he was starting in south by southwest and he was walking around legit in a diaper calling himself baby jesus legit in a diaper calling himself baby jesus and now the baby's on top of the game and he's just all over the place all over the place he's traveling everywhere doing a story um shows everywhere and his music is banger what i'm looking forward for him from him is Okay, now that you're in the game and you've you you've solidified a spot, I would say, for the for the time being, I want to see how he grows as an artist to see like what he can do different because you know all of his flows are very very new to us right now in the moment, but they all sound repetitive. But then as he makes newer music, let's see what kind of lanes he could get into. But even if he stays the same, stays the same. Doing it with more people, like more different features, different beats, will still make it exciting for us. So that's another person I'm looking forward to. Um, another, I just seen him on stage with the baby the other day. Drake, Drake just dropped one banger of a song called War. If you have not listened to that song, go back and check that out because that song is straight fire. And the reason is fire. The background or the, the well, I guess kind of like the background story about that song is because the producer or the beat maker, whatever you want to call him, Axel, the one who made that beat was also the one who made the Pop Smoke beat. So it kind of popularized UK sounding beats and Drake hopped on one. So this is how you know... Right now, the, the, the way music is going, things move really, really, really fast in music. Like, people are not only making a whole lot of mu money in music, but people are shooting to the top so fast. But you cannot discredit that they have been working for a long time before that. So, 
It is what it is. I know I want me a piece of the New York industry, the New York industry, the music industry. Um, I know I'm going to get a bag from there some way, somehow, because I'm too... I'm too connected to this music stuff. If you are OG Slick Gang member, I know you feel me when I say some of the stuff I say. Like, I don't be saying biased bullshit. And I also take everything into account. And I can also, you know what I'm saying, compare it to other genres, other artists, and on in a deeper way. Not just, oh, yeah, he sounds like... Nah, I'll, I'll really, you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, it's it's move it moves really really fast. But yeah, Drake he dropped an interview. If you again another one, if you have not seen go go watch that interview he dropped with Rap Radar. Um, you don't have to watch the whole two hours because this it is it is a long interview. But the first hour, um, just the just the 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 things he talked about. My favorite artist of all time, Lil Wayne. Um, seeing how his career has affected Drake's career in such a big way. And it also put in perspective how hard you really need to work for certain things. So if you're just into music, you like Drake, you like interviews, go watch that interview. It's a really good interview. interview. Um, but what I'm looking for from him, he said he's been creating something different for this year, 2020. No doubt about that because of the song he dropped just a couple of days ago is a banger. And because he took... Uh, and again, you'll get some of this information in the interview... You can see that he has changed. Um, you can see that he has, but he's in a different place right now. So of course, when an artist who is deeply, deeply rooted into their music um, um, expression, when they change, the music changes. So I'm really excited to see what he's gonna come out with. Um, who else? And also, if you guys like these videos, um, I'm really just trying this out to see like what what it can do um because i feel like i have a pretty uh legit opinion even though it's just an opinion about music um if you want to see some more about this stuff even about the south african music you want to hear about uh me just politicking about the stuff that i know i don't really know much i know what you guys tell me i don't know like you know the deep 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 history of some some of the music but i can definitely you know what i'm saying put my ones and twos in it so make sure you comment down below and let me know um who else excited me this year i didn't get much from cardi b but cardi b been raising a family uh she been taking care of her mans um i did miss her though i miss hearing her mouth i miss hearing i don't even be on instagram as often i miss i miss like how fun it was oh i know who to talk about six nine me, my personal opinion about Six Nine, I didn't, I don't really, I didn't really care about the 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 antics he did, but it was very entertaining. Like internet, Instagram, social media in 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 general was super super entertaining when he was around, and he's gone, and now knowing that he's gonna be coming out in twenty twenty, don't know where his gonna career is gonna be. Um, I, I everybody's opinion about him is like, oh, I'm not listening to his music. Yeah. Legit, I haven't listened to his music the whole damn near since he went in. Um, I've only only heard a couple because he did put out bangers. I'm not even gonna hold you. He did put out bangers. But you know what I'm saying it portrayed a life that he really didn't live. But I didn't really care about that. I really cared about the music. The moral aspect, you know what I'm saying? The moral aspect and the and his character. Of course, you have to take accountability for those things, which is why it's going to be really, really shifty when he comes out. I don't really know much about, like, I know he's under something protection. I forgot what that shit is called. And, like, I'm not sure how that's going to play out. I know Bobby Schmurda coming out this year. That's going to be fire. I know Bangers on top of Bangers because New York right now is on top. We got Pop Smoke. We got Cardi. And we got uh, Fabio Foreign. If you don't know who Fabio Foreign is, go check out his his last banger, Big Drip. That goes crazy in the city. I promise you. If you haven't followed me on the gram, go follow him on the gram. I did a recap video of um, he was having. I got hired to do a video at a concert slash club event that he was doing, and it was so packed that it first of all it was like thirty six degrees outside. The the place was packed and they wouldn't let anybody else in and the line was hella packed, hella long. 
And these are real goons out here. These are real goons. And a couple of them got inside with weapons, so they got kicked out. Police was around. All types of crazy shit. All types of crazy shit. And I'm out there, you know what? Uh, since I won't be able to really do my job, I'm going to do my job outside. So I did like a little video outside of everybody turning up to this song outside, going crazy. The whole gang, whole Crip, you know what I'm saying? Crip gang really, really going crazy outside. So go check out that video. It's, it got a lot of attention whenever I posted it. So go check that out. But yeah, Fabio Foreign. But yeah, New York is on top right now. So when Bobby Smurda comes out, pfft, it's a whole situation. For real. But, um, I don't know. I, all in all, where I, where I see music going right now is that um, all the artists that um, didn't give us a lot last year is going to give us something this year that um, will change. Because I know you remember the little SoundCloud era two, three, four years ago. And it changed back to, you know what I'm saying, not being so much mumble rap, but now it's like, it's like fast rap, but it is, you can, you can understand it now. Like now when you listen to Young Thug, you could, you could hear, you could hear his lyrics now, you know what I'm saying? And he's putting out, and he's putting out bangers. So I know this year, a lot of good music going to come out. What I want it to feel like, I want it to feel like 2018, 2018. I don't think y'all remember, but we got a lot of music in 2018. A lot of music. So make sure... Uh, I'm about to end the video so somebody don't come in and interrupt. These freaking dogs, bro. But yeah, if y'all like these type of segments, these type of talk talks, me and you talk about, you know what I'm saying, what's going on in the hip-hop community or anything, any type of topic at all, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will definitely, definitely get these out for y'all. Um, anything y'all want to ask me, we could do a little quick Q&A, all types of stuff, all types of shit. Any type of new reactions or new vlog material you want, pranks you want. I want to try the prank stuff, you know what I'm saying? But it just got to be, it got to be right, you feel me? It just got to be right. But, yeah, like, I really was just going to try out this. But, yeah, before you leave, make sure you like, like, like this video, comment down below. Let me know, and more importantly, please, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Peace. Josh, Josh on a fucking beat.